Hi, this is Ryan with Tremonti. Today I'd like to take a look at customizing the top header. So in this tutorial, I will showcase how to change uh, one of these icons, add some text that may not be an email or a phone number, um, and move the social media icons to the right and maybe add some text there too. Okay, so the first thing is let's just make sure that we have our top bar enabled. And that is in the header navigation header elements. And let's show the social icons and publish that. And then let's just take a look at how that looks first. So we have the social icons on the right hand side. And then let's go ahead and add a phone number. We'll just copy this one. Header navigation, header elements, phone number. Okay. So let's publish that. Let's also try to add something that's not an email in here. Okay, two things. First is now that we've added data into the phone field, the social media icons now move to the left. And the email field didn't save our uh, input because it wasn't in email format. So one of the things that we'll want to do is just make uh, an area for whatever we want. In this case, it's this address. And we've also linked it to the contact page. And we'll use a custom pin or uh, icon from the Elegant Icon font set too. All right, so first thing I would recommend doing is downloading the Elegant, Elegant font set, excuse me. And you can do that from here at the very Ah, there it is. Download the icons. Once you do, unzip it and uh, move this file, maybe just onto your desktop, the HTML CSS file. Um, when you do that, you can open up the style.css um, file and take a look at the names for these icons because that's what we'll want to grab. So we chose the pin, just control F and find the pin, which is this um, uh, on the list. And then what we want to do is just copy this in particular and paste it into here. So what I'm going to do is actually just show you um, this is what that looks like. And so this is the email um, icon class, and here is our um, ID for that icon. If we save it, and make sure to save it here, yep. and refresh, once we add an email, we'll be able to see the new icon that we added. There it is. Okay. So it's still uh, mail to, and it's still only accepting email. So what we'll want to do is now go into the header and customize that. Um, strongly recommend using a child theme here so that you don't uh, mess with the main DV theme and then have your changes be overridden when you update it. So we've got one called beauty bar. That's our child theme. Let's go into the main theme, grab the header, and then just move it onto our desktop. And you can see we, we actually already did that. So once it's on our desktop, let's go back into our child theme and place the header in here. 
Once it's in there, we have the ability to modify it to our liking. We'll find the section that controls the mail, the email icon, and let's just get rid of the uh, if statement and just keep the HTML here. Um, we're actually also going to get rid of this and link it to the contact page. Okay, and then in this area, we'll get rid of the the PHP. So we're actually we're just getting rid of all of the PHP um, specific to the email line, and then we'll just add um, whatever we want here. Okay. Once that's done, let's save it. We're not going to save this. We're actually just going to close out of that. Okay, now you can see that we have our pin and the custom text. And at the bottom, you can see that it links to the contact page. All right, the last thing that we want to do is mess with these social icons. And uh, we will add a little text here called see our work. Um, one of the things to do is just follow the same process for modifying the file. Just move it from the um, Divi main theme, um, and it's located in the includes directory under social underscore icons.php. So save it on your desktop. Then in your child theme, create a directory called includes. And add it there. Let's go ahead and edit this. So we'll just call it see our work. And then in a previous video that I'll link to, I showed you how to change the icons. We'll just quickly add and replace Twitter with the Instagram icon. Okay. That's done. We'll save it. All right, see our work, perfect, and that's interesting. Did I do that wrong? I apologize. So, um, yes, I did. I apologize. I went too quickly. So, um, instead of changing this line, I just need to change this here. And like I said, we'll link to the previous video where we detailed how to do that. Okay. So instead of the Twitter icon, we should see the Instagram, great. Now the last thing we want to do is move this to the right-hand side because it's a little congested here on the left. To do that, we need to add some um, jQuery and modify the, the style.css. So first thing we'll do is modify or add the jQuery. And we do that in our theme options. So let's just go ahead and open a new tab, go to DV theme options, and under the integration tab, we'll look for the field that says add code to the head of your blog. We'll add this code, make sure it, this um, is HTML, but it does accept JavaScript. So just make sure that um, you have the script tags before and after, and then save it. Refresh the page. Perfect. Is that the, the right now? Now, if you see um, that in the initial page load, it's appearing on the left still like that, um, and you don't want it to do that, then you'll just need to add a little bit of CSS as well. So let's go back into our CSS file, and this is what we'll want. While it's loading, will display nothing. Okay. All right, refresh it again. And you'll see that it never shows up on the left-hand side. All right. To get all of the links and code, just go to tremani.com and find the blog post 
that we'll have about this. This has been Ryan with Tremonti. Thank you.